Oh boy, we're climbing the white tree today. The white all tech. I'm just kidding, guys. I mean, technically, we're climbing it. What's going on, guys? Sam or Sam's main tree, sirs. Got the purple people eater here. So, what is this? This is the Monkey Beaver 2.0. Um, I have to do a review on it because it's awesome. And another thing is, a lot of people say it's the same saddle, and it's definitely not. There's a lot more features on this, uh, but not too many more where it's complicated. So, let me go over it. Some of the biggest changes, I'll go over those first because I might forget some other ones. The D-rings are now removable. People complain about these. They now made them removable with this like strap style buckle and cam. So they're removable. If you don't like them, you take them off. If you like them, you add more. The transporter. So on the old saddle, there was only three spots for equipment. So there was transporter spot here, transporter spot here, and here. So now you have a transport you have open loops for everything you have seven open loops i believe so you can have seven transporters if you want it doesn't matter so that's nice because i actually need to get another transporter I need to tighten this one too i think anyway i need another transporter because i like to hang my rigging gear on one i like to hang the um my pulley saver or any climbing things i use like redirects or whatnot on the other i like to have them separate personally um also one transport doesn't fit all that so you do need two or three so the next thing is they tie the leg straps kind of together so they have a strap through here that that is um you don't really feel it but i feel like you feel it when you need it uh a big thing with the pad is the pad is actually if you put them side by side with the regular monkey beaver 1.0 this pad's smaller now maybe my first one got a little bit bigger or something expanded, I don't know. But this pad is like, I think like an inch or two smaller or shorter. So they're the same size saddle as well. So these are both mediums. Another thing Monkey Beaver likes to do is they make me feel good about my body because I fit into a small. So I buy a medium because when I wear my winter clothes because I double up on my hoodies and I wear like layered pants and stuff, I like the medium. Um, the back pad has this little lumbar support, which you tighten with this or loosen with this. And that's actually good. It kind of lets you adjust how you feel on your saddle completely. Some other features. I think they got the standard buckles, same ISC, you know, climbing buckles. They still have the triple paw, people call these. They look like a paw, so I'm assuming it's triple paw. Comes with a handle, which is actually kind of handy because it lets you kind of sort the saddle up better. Uh, they come with these Velcro keepers, so you can actually shove your tail of your waist belt into them. Um, a lot of people complain. I actually complain on the 1.0 as well, but I didn't. Let me adjust it. I didn't really mind um, letting it dangle. I, I still let it dangle to this day. The leg pads. There's actually no pad to here, but. They did use a little bit more material here, so I think they're more comfortable if you ask me. Um, they're so loose, so I like that. I don't like a whole lot of padding. Um, I do like the back padding. That's just the right amount for me. It's Cody Locks. So let me put this on and show you how it sits and how it adjusts. The one thing about the Monkey Beaver sales is they adjust very easily. All right, so that's how it sits. It's easily adjustable, and I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. I mean, it doesn't really sit much different than many other saddles. It's still a tree climbing saddle. So, let me show you guys something. So, if you pull these adjustments here for your bridge to D-ring connector, I think. So, you tighten those all the way up. That's all the way up, right? This thing with this saddle is any climber is going to be able to use it and figure it out and adjust it to their style. So it's adjusted all the way up, right? Oop. I am suspended while standing. I am pretty much vertical right now. Not really a whole lot of like lean back action. My face is in my rope runner. It's not really a pleasant time for me. I don't really like climbing like this. I don't know about you. So the average person 
the normal climber, I guess, would go about halfway, right? So look how easy this is to adjust. Boom, boom, boom. That's perfectly halfway. That's a little lean back for me, but that's uh, that's about normal. Let's say you like to get wild. Well, loosen it all the way. Get your legs hang down a little bit more. Loosen it all the way. This one's fun. You're upside down. I mean, really, I, right now I'm using my core to keep me up, but if I just kind of like flop, that's how I want to hang. Oh, there you guys are. Which is actually is pretty good for the back. But, ugh. So, <laughs> it's nice because you may think like, oh, what the, what, what does that mean, Sam? You can adjust it to how you like to hang. If you like riding the crane ball, if you like leaning back a lot, and it adjusts, what that does is it basically kind of adjusts the pressure off your legs or to your back. Um, speaking of the pressures to your back, this lumbar support is pretty sweet. I think that's what it is, but you can tighten this easily. They even put little loops. They didn't need to do those loops, but look, those little loops tighten, tighten. Now this saddle's tight on my back. So you're not just squeezing your waist with the with this buckle to get your saddle to feel tight. You know, you don't gotta suffocate your hips. You can get your back muscles tight now too. Personally, I climb, I think, so that's like upside down. I think I like it like this. My position. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more up. Yeah, a little bit more up I like. So like this. Make it get jump that time. That's how I like to climb. So another thing is guys, so like the price tag on the 2.0. Yes, it, it is more than, a, I think, almost any saddle other than, like, a few Buckinghams. I've climbed in a lot of saddles. Um, my first saddle was a, ooh, what was my first saddle? My first saddle wasn't even a tree climbing saddle. It was a pole saddle for climbing on poles. My second saddle, I didn't even own. Uh, my mentor let me climb in it whenever I wanted. A tree Austria 3.2. I climbed on that for about a year before I bought my first saddle, which was, a notch sentinel that wasn't a bad saddle um decent but it had buckle issues the buckles would seize couldn't undo them couldn't tighten them these buckles that august and his guys have and the monkey beaver team they're bulletproof they're foolproof they really there's nothing that can go wrong with them really uh the next saddle i had was weaver cougar didn't really like that the uh, Next saddle I had was a Buckingham Floating D. It wasn't mine, I bought it for one of my apprentices. And I've climbed on it a few times, it was, it was all right. Then I had the Monkey Beaver 1.0, now I had the 2.0. I climbed on the Denali for like a day or two, really didn't like it. So the thing is with this saddle, you can do whatever you want with it, you can adjust it however you want. Uh, a big thing is, um, and it may not seem huge, but like, look at this. You just got out of a tree all day long. Maybe you're soaking wet in the rain and you're starting to get like blisters or or uh, a really bad chafing on like my hips. I get it sometimes if it's pouring rain or they get itchy. Just a me thing, I guess. Even though it might not seem like a big deal to take off your saddle faster, it is satisfying. Boom. This thing's really tight because I've been cranking it down. Boom. Off. Step out. Done. Grab your saddle. Done. So I know that doesn't really mean anything, dropping your saddle off fast. It just feels pretty refreshing when you can just click off. Um, got an airplane, a helicopter coming by. Another thing about the Monkey Beaver saddle is you guys might think it's just August, but he has like a whole team. And all those guys work really hard. All those guys and girls, they work really hard and for me, who's also a business owner, 
to spend the time out of my day to create something for the tree community to help them get their work done better, safer, faster, more comfortable, and is putting thought into the community. I wanna support that company. I don't want to put more money in CEO's pockets that send out products in mass just because they have the money to, and the products, they're not made for us. They, you know, like these were made by tree climbers. These weren't met at board meetings. These weren't met with people who analyze the market or people who are sitting around this big table with a few samples in front of them. I like this one, I like that one. It's none of that. You know what this is? It's guys saying, hey, let's try this new sale we just made. All right, we'll run it through for like a week or two or a month or two or whatever. I don't know how they do their testing, but I guarantee you they're wearing them, they're climbing in them. So I'd much rather support a company like that who, and regardless of the sale, the whole Monkey Beaver brand in general, they're putting videos out on YouTube, August and his guys, they're helping grow the community, they're helping to build products for the community, and I'd rather give my money to a hardworking dude or company that is trying to get me better equipment rather than, like I said, these companies that just build these products. I've seen how some companies develop products and I don't, I do not like it. They, they, they just send out, they send out products and stuff and they have like board meetings about what product's gonna sell the best. These guys are wearing them. These guys are using them. These guys are building them for us with us in mind. And it's great. It's something I, I get behind a lot. Um, also, they made it in purple. <laughs> Most of you guys know, I do not like Vermeer equipment so far. I've always liked Ditch Witch way superior. Uh, my Vermeer dealer, he's like, how can I get your business? I'm like, you know how? And he's like, let me think about it. A few hours later, he's like, all right, we'll paint it purple. So I ordered a new um, steer and it's in purple. So, I mean, when you make it in purple, <laughs> you win my business right there. I also have a set of suspenders. I haven't had time to mess with them though. So thank you guys for watching. I know that review's been long awaited. Um, I'm really happy the saddle is very comfortable. Make sure you guys are in focus here. It is a very comfortable saddle. Um, I can't say anything bad about it, to be honest. And it's it's really supportive on my back. So when I'm climbing, it's just a little bit easier now. Climbing is not an easy job, but it just feels a little bit nicer now. Thank you guys for watching.